in this video we will learn how to create this amazing mix art photo effect in photoshop cs6 extended we will use photoshop actions for creating this particular effect this will be super easy and super fun so let's jump in photoshop welcome back everyone my name is Dhanan Chaudhary from Taste Tutorial and today we will create an amazing mix art photo effect using Photoshop actions. So before we start, let me just show you what we can create using these actions. So first of all, when we create our selection around where we want to apply our effect and after applying our effect, the effect will be look like this. You can make most of the changes in that, like you can increase the dust around this uh, character or you can just increase the splashes on this image so it's all in your control so even you can turn off these and you can see that there is a nice little shadow under this hand and it looks great um, I think a uh, great look so you can even change its color corrections you can change the splashes dust everything is editable in this actions so we will use uh, this image but what the final effect will be uh, this effect will be our final result you can see that it looks a very soft overlay out it output and looks a create multi art action so I think you really like this uh, I think you really like this and love this so let's start our work so before we start let me just delete the first layer so it could be easy to understand that so first of all when you start this uh, you need to start is you have a high definition image so this wallpaper is about 4000 k 4000 pixels by 3000 pixels it means that it is a super hd that's why this effect will be work very fine and if you are uh, detecting any type of error i will create a next i will create a video on that so you could get uh, easily uh, get tired of that error particular error so your there is no problem actually in actions so if you are facing some errors there will be some problems like if you are not having a high definition background or the uh, we can say that a proper for a photoshop version or you are not having a proper photoshop version or uh, we can say that your brush layer maybe have some errors so I will create a video so you could get better understanding about using these actions and if you are facing some errors it will be easy to detect them and get rid of these errors so before we start let me just tell you first of all we will create a background layer if you are not having this this type of uh, layer name or whatever it's, its name instead of background so what we'll do is we'll go to layer new layer and select background from selected layer so it will create a background named layer which will be locked and the next thing is that we will create a new layer right on above, uh, above on that layer and we will create select a soft brush uh, where is a brush you can see that there is a brush and let me select a soft brush the opacity will be uh, sorry the hardness will be 0% and the size will be depend on your needs so try to use uh, like this size or whatever you like this is the soft brush and uh, when you will create a selection like I have created a nice uh, we can say that uh, selection or fill that area which I want to apply my effect or when you will select this uh, area it means that this area will be visible and all the effects will be applied on all the image and only this area will be visible so this is a simple and super easy and super quick so let's start uh, after creating this layer name this layer as brush in lowercase b r u s h make sure that this name is in lowercase so on the next step we need to load our patterns brushes and actions so go to edit uh, preset preset manager from this preset, preset manager we'll go to load actions sorry load brushes and when you will navigate to your files you will see that uh, when you will download that file there will be a file named mix art brushes so we'll click and load them because actually i have already loaded them so i don't need to load them again and on the next step we'll click on done then we'll go to edit preset and preset manager and again we'll go to patterns we need to load them and from this pattern we'll click on load and when we navigate to our file there will be a file name mix our pattern so we'll click and select and load them 
when you will load them there will be maybe four or five patterns will be loaded as I already loaded that so click on done now we need to load actions so go to windows uh, actions uh, sorry uh, okay go to this icon where there, there will be a drop down menu and from this drop down menu click on load actions from these load actions you will see that when you navig navigate this uh, location to your downloaded location and extract that and there will be mix art photoshop actions so we'll click select and click on load as i already loaded them so i don't need to load it again now click and extract that and you will see that there are lots of steps under this uh, we can say the particular label so what's next is that we'll simply just before we start our actions it will not start here you will see that there is no visibility on that you just need to click on under grouped uh, we can see that label which is mix art photoshop action and go to edit purge and all what it will do is it will simply just erase your photoshop history so your photoshop action file will be work uh, particularly fast so click on ok it's just uh, ok and now click on play the actions it will take a little time to complete its process because lots of processes are here so we'll click on start actions and after that we will wait for the process to complete its work. Okay, so the process is completed and you can see that it, it comes up with a really nice effect so we'll just close this panel and press alt control and click so it will close all the groups at once and now we'll take a look at what we can change in that you can see that the hands are not so visible so we'll check out uh, splashes uh, this is not what we want uh, let's just edit uh, where are splashes so I think they are uh, yes these are splashes now drop it here yeah and you can see that it is a really amazing effect so what I wanna edit in that is uh, these splashes are here so we'll just select this thumbnail press brush selecting your foreground color as black and we'll select a soft brush size should be reduced and let's see what comes up okay so we don't need to do that now we'll open uh, this one and check what is wrong in that uh, yes or press X select your foreground color as this one and then select this one press X Oh great that's great and in this way you can edit most of the things like this one uh, this one looks great this is the background you can even change everything in that so if you want to change colors like let's just hide these uh, splashes uh, where are splashes uh, yes so let's uh, open these color options and you can see that there are lots of color in that so we'll change the levels and change the RGB instead of RGB we'll change blues you can change anything you can change reds look at this it gives a really nice an amazing look so turn off this black and uh, close this panel and turn on these splashes and look at this this amazing color let's see where is the yeah there is the background there is the wallpaper you can even change its uh, greenness or increase or decrease it's all depends on you and uh, it is maybe uh, color overlay text so 
you can change it any any time so if you want to change these uh, lines so you just go to uh, where is the hot spilling brush tool sorry spotling brush tool and open this and make it bigger size and you will try on this and you will see that maybe it could work out it is a full definition image so that's why it will take a little time to apply it on a content aware work so let's see how it works that's nice uh, this is the only image so we'll try on that let's see how it comes up with everything is can be done with patience so recommended size i will uh, recommended resolution for an image is 2500 pixels by uh, 1600 pixels so it could work fine on that image so try to use high definition images so the effect will be more accurate and amazing so like this one you can fill it with content aware so it could be a little quicker than our thinkings so that way go to edit fill and change it to content aware and hit ok now it will take a little time so we will wait so this is done and now we'll use on this way edit fill content aware and hit ok so this is done you can edit almost everything in that so the more you will uh, get in uh, into involve into that the more you will understand this thing so i hope you like this tutorial and uh, it will help you a lot to use these actions and if you are detecting some errors check your brush opacity it will be soft or uh, you should have to be make it soft brush use soft brush and the image should be high definition and i'm using photoshop cs6 extended and this is Adnan Chaudhary. We will meet in our next video. Never stop and keep learning.